Let's spend a few minutes looking into the Traffic Manager user interface. This is the home page for the Traffic Manager GUI. It is the main control panel for your cluster that provides a dynamically updating overview of your key configuration, traffic, and status. The home page updates automatically to show new event log messages and changes in the Traffic Manager virtual server or pool statuses. The status applet displays the health of the cluster in a traffic chart with summary in real time. If a cluster problem is detected, the status will change from green to either orange indicating a minor problem or red indicating a major problem. The status indicator also links directly to the diagnosis page. The traffic manager section displays the status of each traffic manager in your cluster. If any of the devices develop a fault, it will be highlighted and an error message will be displayed. The services section displays a list of the services you are managing with protocol, port, virtual server name, and a list of pools used by the service. The stop and start buttons can be used to stop and start a service. If any problems are detected with a virtual server or a pool, these will be highlighted. The event log section displays the five most recent event log messages in the traffic manager systems in your cluster with a link to examine logs to display the full event log. The wizards are designed to walk you through common activities such as creating new services, backup and restore configuration, manage node configurations, and more. The search box allows you to quickly locate common items of interest throughout the configuration. Matching results will pop up in a window as you type. Finally, all pages throughout the UI contain a help link that provides context-sensitive information specific to your current UI navigation page. Across the top of the UI are the section buttons that take you to each administrative section of the Traffic Manager user interface. The services section displays virtual servers, traffic IP groups, and pools associated with your Traffic Manager configuration. It also provides a configuration summary page with a view of your traffic manager configuration and settings. The catalog section of the UI is a repository for configuration objects that can be applied to your services. This could be items such as rules for traffic inspection or management that are applied to a virtual server, health monitors that are applied to either a pool or a site, or bandwidth classes that can be used for traffic control. The Diagnose section of the UI provides you with useful information when working with the traffic manager itself or inspecting application traffic. The cluster diagnosis shows the results from several tests to check that your cluster is correctly configured and that all the traffic manager and nodes are operating correctly. The event log shows the contents of the error logs on each traffic manager machine in the cluster with options to filter or download the content. The audit log displays user activities with each action tagged with username and IP address from the client machine. The technical support page allows you to generate a single archive that includes your current configuration, system information, and diagnostics output. The activity section of the UI provides tools that allow you to keep track of the current and past activity on your system. The current activity page shows you a real-time graph of activity on your system that can be customized extensively. You can choose from standard sets of data to plot traffic values such as bandwidth, connections, or hardware values such as memory or CPU time. Additionally, the graph data can be customized with hundreds of data monitoring points. The activity chart also provides a download data option that allows you to get a copy of the data suitable for analysis with other applications. The world map provides a view of the geographic origin of requests being handled by your traffic managers. Every request that is sent to a virtual server shows up on the map and is color coded according to which of your traffic manager locations it was sent. The Connections page gives you the ability to monitor current and recent connections being handled by your traffic manager. You can show or hide field columns using the button on the top left of the Connections table. You can also filter the connections by any field or data within the table. This can be done with a drop-down box near the top of the page, 
or by clicking on any of the values within the table itself. Additionally, by clicking on the magnifying glass icon to the left of each line provides more information for a specific connection. The connection details page provides additional information for a specific connection. The request tracing section gives you a timeline of internal connection processing events. This can show you how long the entire request took and how much of that time was spent processing individual events. The request details section displays all of the request headers and the response details section displays all of the response headers. The view logs page allows you to view service request logs with a separate entry for each service. The log viewer displays requests in real time and updates automatically. This updating can also be stopped and restarted with the link at the top of the page.